it's uh, Thursday. No, <clears throat> that's not right. It's Tuesday. It's Taxi Vlog 446, and it's daylight. Yeah, we had a time change, so that means that we still have daylight when I go to work. It is now five minutes after six, which is a bit early for me, <clears throat> especially considering that we did the time change thing. To me, it's only five after five. Um, so this is a, a bit odd getting going at this time. Hi. Hello. So <clears throat> I'm off to work on a Tuesday afternoon. Monday was Monday night started out slow. One trip an hour for the first three or four hours and then it sped up. I broke even around eleven. So that wasn't too terrible. And the rest of the night kind of flowed along. I did have a couple of times where I was sent somewhere far and there was nobody there. So who knows what happened to them. Uh, tonight, shortly after it got dark, it got foggy. Not extremely foggy, just a little bit, but as the night was descending so was the fog you could see it just drifting in from the northwest so we had some fog uh, and then the fog sort of lifted and became rain and it rained in the morning hours quite heavily besides that I was having some little problem with the car uh, sometimes when I would be sitting for a while <clears throat> and I'd have to start moving it wouldn't really go it would make like there was a paint mixer uh, under the hood instead of an engine and it just shook and shook and shook and then it would sort of stop shaking and then it would proceed I don't know what the problem is but unless day shift has or the weekend guy has alerted the owner to this well, I guess I'll have to call him and tell him, hey, <coughs> we had Houston, we have a problem. So, hopefully we can nurse it through tonight. Uh, that is, if it made it through the day. Uh, what else is there? Uh, kind of uneventful, really. It was about an average Monday, money-wise wasn't terrific but it wasn't terrible it wasn't a catastrophe so I'm hanging in there and uh, it's starting to feel a lot warmer it's uh, halfway through March just about I think it's the 13th or 14th today yeah 14th so I guess I'll get to you at the end of this shift or beginning of tomorrow's shift depending on how tired I am. I didn't do a vlog in the car because I ended up falling asleep so many times in the morning. And then after the last time I fell asleep, I had one more call and that was at the end of the shift. And I didn't even think of doing an installment on the vlog. I just sort of got home. Went to the chiropractor for a decompression, went home, ate something, had a couple glasses of whiskey and fell asleep. Yeah. See you sooner. There we are again. I've been saved by the big Toronto flight. That means that uh, people are flying to Toronto from here. And this guy's gonna let me over. I'm gonna go. All right. Um, it was a slow, quiet night. I did just a little better than 150 by 4 o'clock. And it was just quiet. It was like not really much going on anywhere. And it was kind of like that all night. I watched a documentary about... Uh, 
anti-gravity device basically a UFO uh, which was made by humans but based on alien um, technology and apparently these things have been flying for quite some time the documentary was called uh, Zero Point and uh, it was quite fascinating how the system uses free energy to create electric currents to fly in any direction and even exceed the speed of light. And the next thing I watched was a movie called Unconditional Love. I'm not quite finished seeing that yet. And there was another one I think I saw. Oh, no, that was yesterday. And I forget what it was. Anyways, this uh, airport trip saved my night. I have a little over 200 on now, thanks to this one. Well, here we are. It's Thursday morning, the end of a Wednesday night shift. The Wednesday night was uh, fairly calm and quiet. And uh, it was relaxed. It was steady too for a while until about 1.30 or so, 2 o'clock, and then it died right down. Uh, I sat for almost two hours waiting for a trip between 1 and 3. Then at 3 I had a trip, then at 4 I had a trip, and just before 5 I had another trip. And that was it. I did a little better than 200. And it looks like things are back to normal for this time of year. Unlike that really wonderful February we had. Oh, there's an ambulance. <laughs> Yeah, nothing special tonight. Um, just heading down to the car wash to give the car a little hose down. And then I'm going to go have an ecti compression. And then I'm going to go back home. Have a bite to eat. have a couple of quick drinks and go to sleep. I did take a nap or two already this morning I'm trying to watch some stupid movie called War of the Insects and I also saw something called Star Trek uh, Federation One which is nothing like the Enterprise. I think it was a pilot that, a show pilot that never got used after that. Yeah, talk to you tomorrow. It's Thursday. It's about, oh, forgot my watch. <laughs> it's really bad today. Things are just not correct. And I forgot my watch. See, I woke up about uh, almost three hours late. So I didn't have a chance to eat anything. 
I didn't have a chance to get ready properly. And I'm on my way out the door without my watch. I got my necktie on. I got my wallet. Got my thing for work. I got almost everything I need. I got my bag of tricks there. Okay. Yeah, try this again. Ah. Okay, well, tell you the truth, I've been kind of dragging my ass all week. And I attribute it to that time change. That time when we had to move the clock ahead last weekend. And it seems, feels to me like I'm late for everything. Well, also this week I had three chiropractor things. One lumbar, lower back decompression. I had a exercise the next day and this morning I went and had my neck decompressed and so it's uh, and I didn't get much sleep at work last night or in the morning hours and uh, with it being so bright an hour earlier because we changed the clock my body wants to be awake in the daytime and asleep at night and I didn't didn't get to sleep as early as I would have liked so now I didn't have anything to eat I'll go through a drive through and get something there that should not be a problem and uh, missed, a, missed an hour of work okay I can pick that up in the morning if I really need to. One hour of work is not the end of the world. But I didn't get to, you know, take my time and get ready like I usually do. I know that I'm going to rest up on the weekend. Oh, and incidentally, that thing where the, if I mentioned it already, that the car was malfunctioning and running like a sack of shit, uh, it's because the head gaskets are, are gone and so I should take it easy and not drive too hard until we get a new engine <laughs> yeah what is it 400 and 440,000 K's and the engine is gone <laughs> I remember a taxi I drove oh, many years ago, I think 20 years ago, and it had a small block Chevy 350. It was an ex-police car, and it had about 740,000 Ks on it when it was finally retired. And then somebody used it as a private vehicle. When somebody tells you Toyotas go forever, don't believe it. 430,000 K, that's it. <sighs> okay, I'll up, let you know how the night went later on. Now we're just at the beginning and it's still daylight and I'm an hour late. <laughs> this is all wrong, all, all wrong. I slept right through my alarm. Or did I get up in my sleep and turn it off and climb back into bed? I don't even know. Yeah. It is now 5.08 a.m. on a Friday morning, St. Patrick's Day. I... I'm just shy of 200 now with about an hour left to go. Uh, it's been long, it's been hard. It's been a drag. 
I watched a couple episodes of The Singing Detective. And I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube. I think I watched three whiskey reviews where they were doing Irish whiskey. I'm not going to be much different. I'll be putting up a video that I recorded last weekend about Irish whiskey also on my other channel or on one of my other channels but this was a long slow night I'm actually glad in a way the other cars all went home I think the other cars all went home much earlier than I did Yeah, one more night to go. So it's uh, 5.58 a.m. on Saturday morning. It's the uh, aftermath of a Friday St. Patrick's. I did, uh, I did extremely well. I did extremely well. I worked non-stop from 6.30 till now. And I have about $580 on. I'm tired. I, I have not stopped. I just went, went all night kept driving. Didn't have a chance to look at one video on my phone. I barely had the opportunity to count the money for most of the night. And at one point I had to pee at 9 o'clock and it, I didn't get to pee until 1 o'clock. That's how busy I was. Too busy. Way too busy. This was like a New Year's Eve. It was just like a New Year's Eve. Or Halloween. Or uh, Canada Day. But this time, you know what? I didn't take any bullshit. I didn't take any old calls, and I didn't take any calls that were far away. I always took calls that were close by and relatively fresh. I only had, I don't know, two or three no loads. And I had one customer who didn't pay. Both of his debit cards were declined and he says I'll go in the store and get some money out from there and I said yeah you do that and I drove away because I had another call to get to now I'm just going to wash the car and park it I've had enough hope yours is better than mine Yeah, 